So we have talked about membrane filtration, feed retentate and permeate and what to find in the different, what to expect to find in the different flows. So uh, let's talk about different models for permeate flux. And in this course, we will talk about resistance and series model, concentration polarization, osmotic pressure uh, model. And we will use letter J to denote uh, the flow in liter per square meter an hour, or in SI units, cubic meter per square meter and second, which is the same as meter per second. So J equals the derivative of V uh, dt uh, and one divided by area. So essentially the velocity through the membrane, right? So dv dt is the, uh, the derivative of v, uh, if you think of a bucket uh, that is filling up, how that volume changes. Uh, okay, so in the resistance in series model, you have delta p divided with the viscosity and then different resistances. And here you recognize the rm probably, uh, and that's uh, the resistance uh, for the membrane itself. And the RCP here is the concentration polarization, uh, which we will talk about here uh, in a bit. And RC there is the cake. If it cake forms, then that's also resistance. And there might be other resistances as well. Concentration polarization, uh, well, then J equals a mass transfer coefficient times the natural logarithm and then uh, the relation between uh, Cm minus Cp uh, divided by Cb minus Cp. And Cm is now the concentration near the surface and Cb is the concentration a bit away. Uh, so in the bulk solution uh, on the feed side. In the osmotic pressure model, you have the flux J as delta P minus delta pi. And delta pi is a difference in osmotic pressure. And then that divided with the viscosity and Rm. Okay, so the resistance in series model. So we treat all flow resistances as individual resistances. So the membrane resistance, Rm, the cake resistance, Rc, and the concentration polarization. Uh, now the cake resistance, we try to keep low and uh, we do that by having a high cross flow rate, so shearing away uh, the cake that forms, if a cake forms. Uh, concentration polarization, well the problem here is that as the, the bigger molecules don't go through, there will be build up uh, of concentration near the surface, so we will have a diffusion in the opposite direction and we need to counteract that. Now, uh, and there might be other resistances as well. And the downside here is that we need to, to determine all resistances experimentally if we want to use this model. Uh, so here is a figure explaining. Uh, we have a cross flow here and the permeate goes in like this through the membrane, this dotted line. And these uh, black circles here are the particles. And further away from the membrane, you have a lower concentration. And the closer you come, you have a higher concentration. Since uh, close to the surface, uh, whatever liquid these particles live in, uh, that liquid may pass through, the, but the particles can't. So you have an increase in concentration like this, a concentration gradient. And then you have a jumping concentration uh, to the permeate side. And uh, the concentration here might be zero. It might be a uh, uh, value higher than zero, of course. And so we have a flux towards the membrane, but we also have diffusion because by random processes, uh, random movement in the liquid, uh, molecules will move from close to the, the boundary to uh, further away. So uh, let's try to look at this. Uh, so what comes in? Uh, now we, we're looking at uh, in this direction, right? Uh, so from the bulk towards the, the permeate. 
so we have a velocity v which is the same as our j right uh, v times the concentration that that is con the convection that moves things towards the memory but we have diffusion that goes in the other direction and that must be equal v time cp because that what gets out on the uh, permeate side of the membrane so uh, we can fill around with this the v is the same as our j so let's put in j there it's because j is in meter per second if we use si units right uh, so jc minus d dc dz z equals jcp so we can move the uh, the j uh, to the one side and the derivative to the other side and then integrate and what do we integrate we will integrate over a, um, a thickness of of this place where the concentration gradient is uh, present so from the bulk to the uh, to close to the membrane surface and we integrate from the concentration in the bulk to the concentration at the membrane surface and we get this equation down here and if uh, what should we do with the diffusivity divided with the film thickness the the thickness of where where the concentration changes well the diffusivity has the unit square meter per second uh, and the, the film thickness has the unit meter so if you take square meter per second and divide that with uh, meters you get meter per second and this is actually a mass transfer coefficient uh, if if you know uh, about the two film uh, theory well the two film theory says that the mass transfer coefficient is the diffusivity divided with the film thickness so we get this equation down here and that's the concentration polarization equation in the osmotic pressure model we have an osmotic pressure so what is an osmotic pressure but consider a situation where we have a semi-permeable membrane and you have a concentration here c0 and uh, on the other side you have a concentration that is zero now if you have the same pressure on both sides uh, the liquid on uh, on this side where there are no the where the concentration is zero uh, they will move by random movement across back and forth across this membrane and they will even out the concentrations a bit not totally of course because if the molecules on on this side on the left side can't move through the barrier then the concentration can never be zero here and the concentration will remain zero on the other side but you will get more uh, water on the other side now the osmotic pressure is the pressure you have to apply for this process not to happen so if you apply exactly the osmotic pressure on this side uh, so you have a pressure difference then the random movement of of the uh, solvent will just be s uh, zero net uh, net speaking uh, so it will be movement but net it will be just nothing one method to uh, try to estimate this osmotic pressure is uh, to use this equation here that pi equals the sum of concentration times rt and the concentration now must be all specimens in in solution so if you have a salt like sodium chloride that divides in solution into sodium ions and chloride ions you need to count chloride ions and the sodium ions uh, so sodium ion is one and the chloride ions is another species if you think that this equation looks rather similar to uh, the ideal gas law it's because it's actually kind of derived from the ideal gas law and since this is not a, a gas you might suspect that this is not uh, a, a perfect equation so it looks like the ideal gas law but we're dealing with solutions uh, liquids so there is something fishy going on but in many situations you can come pretty close to uh, to good value here uh, and there are more fancy equations for this as well
So uh, the osmotic pressure model, uh, you take uh, the delta P, the transmembrane pressure, and then, then you deduct uh, the os pressure difference in osmotic pressure. So delta P is uh, the osmotic pressure on the feed side minus the osmotic pressure on the permeate side, uh, which decreases the driving force because it works against the transmembrane pressure. And you can determine the membrane uh, resistance Rm usually me measurements for pure water, so clean water flux through the system, because then the osmotic pressure is zero on both sides, so zero minus zero is zero. And then you directly got, get uh, the membrane resistance as J divided by mu, so J at for the clean water flux divided by the viscosity. Then you calculate or estimate uh, the delta pi, the difference in osmotic pressure between the feed side and the permeate side and use the osmotic pressure model to calculate the flux. This is difficult if you can't neglect, neglect uh, concentration polarization and we will return to this.